Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about connecting an iPad to a Synology NAS using SMB. So I'm on an iPad Pro here. This should work with any of the iPads, uh, at least running iOS 13, I think it is. I'm not sure how far back this works. Um, so if you don't have this uh, feature on yours, it's not going to work. Um, but I have the iPad screen here. I have the Files app down in my dock. You can also just have it in your on one of your screens, but I'll open it. So on the left side here, you see locations and it says iCloud Drive, Google Drive, on my iPad Drive or recently deleted. If we click the three dots in the upper right, you'll see here it says connect to server. I'll click on that. So where it says server here now, I'll type the IP address of my Synology NAS and I'll hit connect. It'll ask if I want to connect as a guest or registered user and I'll click registered user and I type my username and password there, I'll hit next. And now we're connected to the server. So this will only work if you're on the same LAN as your server or if you're connected to a VPN back to your LAN. Um, this should give you good performance. It doesn't have to sync anything. You're actually connecting to the server just like any computer would. So as you see here, I have all these folders. I'll go into DS share here. I have this air show folder, GoPro video. I'll hit one of these. And here it's loading the video. And it's a little choppy. So the video was a little bit choppy. I don't know if this iPad is supported to play that kind of video. If I hold my finger down on this, it says I can copy it. So I'll copy it onto my iPad itself. So on the left here, I'll click on my iPad. So I'll hold my finger down here in the open spot. I'll hit paste. So now it's copying that file over. Okay, the file's copied. I'll try and play it again. So you can see it's playing a lot smoother there. So I think it was a little choppy before because it's such a large file. Um, copying it to the device seemed to work a little bit better. If I hold down on that now, I should be able to, to delete it. I can hit delete. And you can see down here on the left, my shared file here, it says 192.168.7.2. So I can hit that and I can go back to the file server. I'll go back into my drive here. I'll click down on video projects. This folder has a lot of uh, files in it. I'll open up a folder for my last video, and here I can open up a picture. Let's go back. So I have lossless music, and these are my rips I've made of my CDs. So I can click on, let's see, ACDC, and we'll see the tracks in here. I can tap one. I'll hit play. It's not playing right now because I'm doing a screen recording, and it's not allowing it to play. I can hit done. But if I didn't have it plugged in doing screen recording, uh, it would play that song. So that's how to connect an iPad to a Synology NAS using SMB. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.